Howdy, Doc. Howdy, Joe Hill from Nashville, Tennessee. What can I help you with today, Doc? Um, Do you need any what? black glass? I've got a fantastic little barrel right here, completely unaffiliated mm. with Ethos glass. I know, oh. I saw. I was to file a complaint about this shop because it clearly mm -hmm. offers mixed wares, and we Ooh. all know that's no good, right? Well, mm -hmm. you know, I figure there's a little bit of a grace period for people to build little stalls mm -hmm. until he can get his majestic yeah, yeah, yeah. shop going, but... Yeah, we'll see, well, we'll see. not for everybody. Look, what do you think? I added a sign to the shop. Oh! Did you pronounce big that? Big wood, baby. Big wood, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Starting to do the interior? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do those Laying lamps light up at bit? night? Nah, nah. Oh. I looked at it, I had it. I had him lighting up, but it, it really diminished readability a lot. So oh, I, I bet, like, yeah. opted against it. Mm -hmm. Now there's just some glow like in there, so it shimmers a little bit during night and or shines. As in, still do the trick. Well, that's yeah. cool. D do you know yeah. where we can set, start setting up? Um, like underneath? Yeah. I'm trying to figure that out at the moment. Floor design is happening right now. Mm-hmm. And then lay out everything. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hello. <laughs> it's punchy. Yeah. What? It wasn't me. It was definitely <laughs> him. I'm throwing Doc under <laughs> that <know>. bus. <laughs> you scared of Joe, her or you what? would never. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so in here and then um, over here will be the wood, uh, your wood room and blah, blah, blah. The five rooms kind of spaced out in, in here. But yeah. I'll take take me a few more days to finish the the layout down here and all, but it's getting there. It's mm -hmm. getting there. Well, that's yep. cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I guess just let me know when the layout's done, and I'll come set up my area. Did you find all the dirt I left for you, Doc? I hope yeah, yeah. you found it. It was it's a little bit of like an Easter egg hunt right down here. I know, <laughs> but it's set up for someone your child's age. You know, in, in case you need help. <laughs> I was like, oh, here's the. The dirt, thank you. But hey, I could use it uh, for the terraforming job around here. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Excellent. Um, oh yeah. So I, I'll pretty much um, I figured out a cool redstone system for the payment that will mm -hmm. automatically split our profits up, and then there will be a secret collection area. You'll get a key, mm -hmm. and then you can access that and collect your profits. Mm -hmm. Oh, outstanding! That sounds yep. great. Looking forward to it, Doc. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just you know I'll install the redstone. And stuff and lay out a, a rough shape mm -hmm. and yeah basic idea is uh, i mean maybe you can think about that already like uh, we do the two wood types that are with a uh, permit right together as we talked about i think that's better otherwise we need like 10 rooms mm -hmm. which is a bit clumsy yep. so it's five and then we can always do the room like split in half right one side is um, one wood type and the other and should look pretty cool I'll do the lobby then, you know, I have like trees in there and things should look pretty nice. And then the rooms, mm -hmm. yeah, their room, you know, the other guys' room, I won't touch. They will not get an automatic payment system. I'm sure they can <laughs> figure out one on their own or, you know, commission yeah, yeah. a talented yeah. redstoner to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they can pay, you know. Yeah, you can charge I mean. them whatever you want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly. Ah, yeah. But it's taking shape. I'm pretty pleased. What do you think about the fish edition they did? I, I like it a lot. It's um, mm -hmm. I really was worried about trying to figure out what to put into that space. I was thinking maybe like a giant Nixon head like in um, Futurama maybe. But I, th I think the salmon is going to be better for the young audience on the server. A lot of them, Thank you know. Thank God we got a salmon in the Nixon head. I, yeah. I'm not sure about that, man. <laughs> Yeah, I know Futurama's a bit dated at this point, but, you know, it's it's still funny. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I love Futurama, man. I'm so sad that they really stopped it and, and never continued it. It was great. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let back you get to back work, to work, I guess. Yep. Good yeah, luck, I'll, Doc. I'll do some floor, and then we'll see. I'll let you know. should be finished by the end of the week or so. Awesome. Well, I'll check Sweet. it out then. Catch you later, Doc. All right. Later. Looking Hi, for some wood, Jim? No, nope. are you looking for some coral? Coral, no, but I had Do you coral, this would maybe sir? sell sea lanterns, but no. I'm you know. not the, the law on my side either. if I say aye. Who got that? Nay. Howdy, howdy, howdy. 
Hey, Joe, how's it going? It's going really well, Smallish Beans. I was just enjoying this little puppet theater here, or whatever it's supposed to be. Is this your shop? <laughs> uh, it's going to be. Uh, it's just uh, very much a work in progress at the moment. Oh, well, it's fantastic. I can get out of your way. I was just goofing around. Have fun. Good <laughs> luck. Bye. All right. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. So one thing I wanted to show you, Quinn, is that over here, Impulse has built this wall, and... He wants to put, like, a cyberpunk city inside. Okay. And he also was just like, well, I need to build a wall around it, which okay. I'm not sure why. It this Also, this wall, it seems like this road should go out through a door or something. It or should, shouldn't it? connect to not a water. Maybe they need the wall so you don't go in the water. But I do, do cyberpunks have water? I mean, I don't know. Is Dune cyberpunk? <sighs> Um, cuz aren't they kind of like post computer? Yeah, they're in, post Butlerian Jihad. Exactly. Basically, yeah, all thinking machines. So they're have. not cyber. Uh they're, but they are punk. Are they hydropunk? Hydropunk, maybe. Like in the same way that Mad Max is like pet petrol punk. Yeah. It's a spice opera. It's hydropunk. It's oh. sister punk. It's greased punkning. We were at the grease. Everyone had matching hair. I sat next to a sandworm, but it wasn't a sandworm. It was a dune lobster. Dune lobster. I think we've. I don't know. Dune lobster. <laughs> I don't know uh, what we're doing at this point. Okay, I don't know. So, um, what's the the Shahalud? I don't know. Yeah. Um. Burr, 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 burr. Anyway, Quinn, I am here in Impulse's future home of his cyberpunk city, where he has set out a series of roads, some of which are designed to lead out into the broader world, and some of which lead directly into a broader wall. So yeah. that people don't fall into the right. sea. Oh. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah. We've got... Yeah. yeah. We've got a pool of water to step into. Yeah, this looks like it's about 10 pixels high by about 10 pixels wide. Uh -huh. Maybe 12 wide. Impulse had said that people are allowed to come in here and graffiti stuff. Wow. On the walls. Because he's, he's like intentionally like, yeah, I made the walls very plain so that people can graffiti them. Okay. Okay. Uh, I was like, oh, there's some graffiti now. No, it's just him marking the southeast corner because he oh, can't yeah, look at the sun. That's so, very officially labeled. In Arizona, you learn real quick not to look directly at the sun, but yeah. then you never know which way is east or west. It's a real problem there. That's why they had to invite the magnetic compass. But anyway, what I'm thinking is I should figure out something interesting, something iconic yes. to put on this what, wall. Put it some sort of juppet mural perhaps i don't know i don't know see that's the thing is i i don't know if it should be about me because when i was trying to think about what would make sense mm -hmm. for a cyberpunk setting sure a lot of the art in cyberpunk settings is somehow like anti-authoritarian yeah or rebellious mm-hmm and so... Oh, and the Jeppet is authoritarian. Well, no, but, like, the thing is, this is not my domain. This is Impulse's domain. But, like... So so wouldn't any art that you produce automatically uh, be a statement of rebellion? Because it's not your property? It's not your domain? Well, so, so I guess what I'm saying, though, is I want that statement to refer back to Impulse somehow. Oh, like, I see. To, like, to, uh, to critique Impulse in yeah. some way. Because Impulse is the system. Impulse is the system here. And you feel the system is down. I'm not down with the system. No. I'll tell you that. No. Mm -mm. So Me neither. I'm trying to think. I don't think he has his logo here, but his logo is a pretty distinctive eye. And so I was thinking I? almost something like um, using the distinctive impulse i okay to write something like liberty but like all of the other letters would be in a different font oh. or where it looks like you're subsuming his like 
if I made it look like the I was printed in the center of the wall, yeah. even though the word liberty is not centered around the letter I, sure. making it look like it's a defaced impulse logo, oh. I was thinking might look cool. Defaced, like impulse without a face? Yeah, like what, if we, what if we got rid of that whole structure, bone-wise, musculature, get rid oh of it. Oh my gosh. But like, the problem is... I don't know if I can do that in one 13 by 13 panel mm. or if I need to take like three or four. Yeah. Like if I put the I in the center of this panel and then I added an L and a B and then an E kind of over there, mm -hmm. R-T-Y maybe. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And so like the other letters would, would, I would try to figure out how to make them look more like painted or less um official you know so if i did his eye in like gold okay like actual the metal gold like oh this is like a sculpture this letter i on the wall wow. and then there's like paint embedded into the wall yeah and it's gold this comes at a cost yeah it always comes at a cost to make a statement doesn't it but i guess i guess the question is is liberty the best idea or is there something else like other words that you know you would see as like protest paint yeah because you have to ask yourself what's the most dangerous word to mm. impulse what's the most dangerous word uh that other people can see to know that they deserve liberty mm -hmm. Yeah, this will take some time, perhaps. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to this think will on take this. Some time. In the meantime, I'm gonna go try and gather some materials to get this underway. Time skip. So we've got this big eye here, and what I'm kind of thinking is maybe we have like an R, and then like an S. You know, like maybe we scaffold up a little bit, which I should have had in my hot bar here. Now, was it gonna say Riz? Is that short for charisma? I think so. This is going to take a few passes, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We may need a bigger wall. We're going to need a bigger wall. You write with blocks often. Not often enough. Okay, we're gonna... Rizg. Yeah, we're gonna, I think, want to pull the S over. And then maybe have the E come around more. I'm not thrilled with it, but it, it kind of conveys the rough idea, at least. Yeah, I think so. I feel like we want to make the S a little bit lower. Like, we, we bring that down there. Uh, we could also try an uppercase E might be more legible. Um, at that point, we want to make an uppercase R, but that's not hard. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah. Yep. All right. Might add a block to the top left of the R. I considered it, but mm. yeah, we, we we can if you want. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So then we bring the S down one and we tweak the E. Yep, I, I like that. I kind of feel okay, like okay. we might want to... We can improve the S, but I think maybe we push all of this back into the wall one. Okay. Yeah, if it's going to be paint, uh, like graffiti, we can, doesn't have this much depth to it yeah, on we can, top of a wall. We can get stone or alternate artwork to put on the backside of the wall. 
Okay. Yeah. So the, the capital E, I definitely like. The S is the right width, even though I'm not like 100% sure Okay. right now about some of this. But yeah. Yeah, that that's better. So, yeah, we're going to push all of this into the wall one block. Nice. And that should work. Having gathered some additional gold from a nearby mesa, it was not nearby, we have placed a second eye over here to make it feel more like these are like real government installed pieces of art. And so Impulse will come out of his door there and be like, oh, what's that? I don't remember building that. Well, that's cool, though. And then he'll see this other one over there and be like, what does that say? Rye. Somebody a big J.D. Salinger fan? And then he'll, like, kind of slowly walk this way and then be like, wait, maybe that's an S there. Oh, interesting. Spells rise. And then he might get hit by a car if he doesn't cross with the crosswalk. So hopefully he'll do this for safety. And then he'll see that back there. I'm not really sure what other angles that artwork is going to be visible from, but I know that people coming in this gate, yeah. which is basically the only really functional gate at this point, are going to see it, They'll see it when they come in. They'll know. Everyone who lives in that building will see it. Yeah. I feel like that's that's something. We've got the upward rise, you know, so we don't need the word up. Or if we really wanted to express the concept of up beyond just having the characters rise, what we could do here is have a small house with a bunch of balloons here. So that would work too. That would work. But, but I don't the think... The house might fly away. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I've seen that happen That can before. happen. And then all of a sudden you're on an adventure with a dog, with squirrels. It's a whole thing. Yeah. And a child. Yeah. Oh, boy. Which you never planned to have there in the first place. So I am curious if this is visible from, like, anywhere else. Like, if we go... Uh-huh. I guess the, the, the way to figure that out is to go stand here and see what I can see from it. Oh, I see. And then I can reverse engineer where this would be visible from. I imagine then... if, if you're on top of something nearby. Like maybe so, if like, you're at... If uh... I'm at Jem's Lighthouse, I think I could see that from here, right? Or if I'm up on Joel's City, yeah. I was a little worried B-Dubs' house would block both of those views. I don't know. We, we should but go. But it doesn't look like it does. to those places and see if there is a view. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious. Time skip. Okay. So now we're up here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Eyes. Yeah, I probably should have stood where the R was when I tried to figure out what you'd be able to see this from. When we climb the stairs from this gate there, we can indeed appreciate a little bit of graffiti. I'm thinking that this is pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. What do you think, Quinn? I like it a lot. I really do. And you know what? I'm sure that Impulse is going to see this and he's going to go, The Royal Society of Engineers has gotten me again! I will get off completely scot-free. You will. Oh, that's oh, a statue. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, I, I was talking to these statues. I was like, Doc, didn't you want to hang out? Well, what can I help you with? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to... Uh, sh yeah, I'm building some exemplary uh, stars at the moment. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, this is the look kind of... I was going for the ceilings are not done yet. Oh, but sure. Your area is over here. Oh, yeah. This is kind of like the decked out alcoves. So I can just yeah, fill I, I it in it however naked I want. it and yeah, you can dress it out as how, how you want. The only suggestion I, I have maybe like, you know, here's the bird side. Mm -hmm. Here's the oak side. It's going to be kind of idea will be that one chest will be bulk. So people can buy a shulker box full of logs, and the other uh, will be um, single, lo you know, stacks. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. The, the payment system is here then. You can access that, and then, you know, you have to pay, and when your payment is done, you can confirm. And then below, I'll have the area. Everything is already split 50-50, so you can pick it up anytime. Okay, but how do I get below to claim yet. that? Yeah, um, <coughs> I'm. I wanted to, uh, around here... I wanted to install a secret door or something, uh, but I, right now I'm thinking it's too painful to do it in every room. Mm -hmm. So probably I have a secret access somewhere here in the middle. 
you know, and then for us shop owners to go behind the scenes and access all the chests and things that are behind the scenes. Oh, this sounds great, and it looks great. This is a fantastic, uh, fantastic start. I'm you sure. Like it? Yeah, I think Beef and Skiz will like yeah. it too. But yeah, giving everybody yeah, space want... to design it themselves is going to be a real hit, I think. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm also not going to touch their stuff. They also don't have the payment system. Also, mm -hmm. only we have it. Okay. Um, yeah. Great. If you want to put up a statue, right? Feel free. I just <laughs> threw a bunch around. I mean, it's just found it funny. You know, like stargazing the sand, the sand <laughs> block. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and up here, right? You can hang your um, your permit then. Oh, most excellent! Yeah, I'll grab that out of. Uh, do we have an ender chest for people who are you know bringing in their sand? I guess I can uh, just put an ender chest in my room at some point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the standard design, like here, like here, there will be ender chest always. Wait, where was it? Right here. Bam! That's where I always have it in each room. Great. Kind of in front of the. You know, payment, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'll take yeah, my... I, I think we should probably want to have a crafting table in the room. I don't know, people sometimes, mm -hmm. I guess. But it doesn't have to be, right? Oh, nice. Haha, -ha, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. We have three up now. Oh, this is great Almost progress. finished. I'm going to finish these two rooms now. And yeah, as I said, but do your own thing, right? However you feel. Mm -hmm. uh, feels good. You can... Like, pretty much you can change any block besides of that one, the lamp. Okay. Yeah, Those that sounds also, great. There's no, no problem for the redstone or whatever. Sure. And ceiling, yeah. When... I have, I'd, I'll put a ceiling over there if you want to uh, get inspiration from that. You know, you can copy that, but mm -hmm. whatever you feel like is good. Now, if I wanted to pick up some tough blocks, I've seen some tough in here. You had said that you might have your... Um tunnel bore moved along far enough that i could safely mine behind it at some point is it far long enough yet yeah 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 how would i access that oh uh, man you go out to the swamp mm -hmm. right and then you have to go down do you have free cam uh no nah. i can use replay mod in post-production yeah it's below the swamp area you can see there's a huge area like close to bedrock Mm -hmm. facing south back towards spawn pretty much and just go down there and look around a bit just don't go too close to the tunnel boss so or no creeper blows it up or whatever right sure so but is there like a, a ladder or a water elevator or something yeah or? there's a hole just, oh, a, just hole a hole you can jump down to you need an elytra to get back out though okay yeah i've got an elytra now and i've got ender pearls so i figure i can make it work yeah okay and um, there's also i mean there's rockets up there at the when you come out of the portal there's rockets there if you need some oh fantastic you thank you yeah if you want to get out of the hole again wow yeah. well thank you so much doc this is this is looking no beautiful already and i'm really excited to be a part of this nice dang i should have probably recorded this all <laughs> oh i was recording yeah, this it's going my episode <laughs> <laughs> good <laughs> yeah. i'm glad you're happy yeah I'm no this is great that's nice yeah no i've been looking right, forward right. to working with you this whole time this is this is definitely paying off i'm glad that we're doing this aha uh -huh. that's what i like to hear see i, I started my recording now joe was praising me for like the last five <laughs> minutes and feeling happy and i didn't record it <laughs> for once after our uh our awkward interaction last time anyways mm -hmm. what uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> all righty Talk to you later, man. Catch you later, Doc. Have a great night. It looks like our wool has been selling, so I came back here to replenish it some. That's maybe not all of it, but you know what? Hey, two extra blocks of diamond. We're going to be able to afford a pretty nice fireworks show down the line. I don't even have room in here for blocks of diamond. I got I to gotta figure out what to do with those. It actually took about 90 minutes to find the final, the 12th piece of ancient Deborah that I needed. It's wild. I, I think I spent three hours looking for Ancient Debra total, and first 90 minutes found 11. Last 90 minutes found one. That's fine. This is going to let us upgrade both of our pickaxes so I can go read Moby Dick without having to go repair it all the time. Time skip. I need to get started on my wood area, and I was thinking I might get some fireworks for underneath there. Let's go ahead and see what we can buy over here. See, we've got five diamonds. Every purchase goes toward the big launch. All fireworks, one diamond for two stacks. Premium in the barrel. Ooh. 
Hmm, let's go ahead, maybe... Let's see. So for birch wood, I feel like we maybe want yellow. And like for oak, maybe we want brown. I guess birch people associate with the white of the bark. So we could get maybe one white... Ooh, some light gray. So we're going to go ahead and put one diamond in there for those two stacks. And then, let's see, are there... I don't know if there are brown fireworks. I mean, they're theoretically possible, but I don't know if Cub makes them or not. Well, that's cool. I like the little thing there. One diamond for two stacks of these. Hmm. These are pretty expensive, but they are pretty cool. So, I don't want to blow the whole inventory budget on fireworks, but I am realizing I do have a shulker. Can I put things in the shulker by clicking on them? Not like in Feed the Beast, or Left for Dead, or whatever Vault Hunters is called. But we can go over here, put that down on the ground, put these away real quick, free up some inventory space. So I feel like low-flying ones would be better for indoors. So we're going to take 12 diamonds and purchase the premium low-flyer. All flight duration one. So that should give us plenty to set up inside of here. Time skip. Okay, so before we start our big dig, I say start, but before we continue our big dig, we need to go ahead and make another right ingot here. Then we need to come over here and take this diamond pickaxe, upgrade template, and let's look at that. 2031 durability instead of 1561. That's going to be huge. That's going to be fantastic for keeping us uh, not stopping. I was trying to think of a good way to express not pausing, and I just paused indeterminately. Wow, I've been at this for a while. <laughs> Time skip. Oh, wow. Doc did some of the legwork to get the foundation of this in, um, you know, the, the rough hourglass shape and whatnot, you know, and the decoration yeah, yeah. and detailing. But each of uh, the permit holders in the log collective has one fifth of this basin here. And it's kind of like uh, the viewers might remember in Decked Out 2 how there's different alcoves. So this mm. is my permit and this is my undecorated alcove. So... Over the course of the stream today, and maybe tomorrow, depending on how much we get done, I'm going to be decorating this. I'm going to be integrating some of the fireworks that Cub uh, has hooked us up with from his incredible fireworks shop. You know, just just imagine that you walk through here, and there's an invisible tripwire that just fires one of these. Except, I got some of those today. They're cool. Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm thinking with dispensers that fire them like horizontally. It'll look really exciting. Ooh. And pro yeah, probably awesome. terrifying. You know, if, if you're not terrified of the Log Collective yet, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would wrap up this episode here at Joel's Puppet Theater, but apparently it's not a puppet theater at all. Oh, no. It is Glow with the Flow. And apparently Jeremy the Squid is here to sell us ink. This is a fantastic example of what you can do with armor stands if you are dedicated and talented. So, gotta say, my hat is off to smallish beans. Look at that. No hat. No hat at all. Wow. You, you really looked inside my head there. Whew. Well, if you looked inside my head, you can probably see that all of these other hermits working hard on their shops is making me want to do so much more with mine than just little tents we got. I am super excited to start working on my birch and oak shop next episode. I hope y'all will join me for that. So, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Ah, uh, where's the exit? I, I'm lost. Ah, uh, there we go.